Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Grim Fandango. Last time we came to Rupakava, after screwing around the petrified forest for a bit. And now we're going to go inside this diner and see if we can find Meche. If I can get through the door. Hey, it's that guy we screwed over. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, bud? Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? Looks like he's working as a, uh... As a janitor now. He didn't make it that far. I guess you gotta do something every once in a while. Gotta make your way through the land of the dead somehow. I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubakava, so I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. Well, so, so you're, a li you're a little bit, you're a little shit, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe he really did deserve that walking stick. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? I have no idea what we used that photo for, actually. Now we're just hanging on to a photo of, uh, Celso's wife. We'll check it out later. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Well, I hope everything works out for Celso, even though he sounds like a total piece of crap. Let's see, do we have... That, that must be his wife. Yeah, she she must have been beautiful with skin on her, because she looks a little aggressive right now. I'll take his word for it. Hey, we're actually getting music. Now, we need to, like, find a place for Gladys' car. I guess we could head off this way. This guy's pretty cool. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. I love this guy. <laughs> cool old sea captain. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? How you doing, guys? I don't understand your car talk. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. 
Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? You folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? This guy is awesome. <laughs> Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well. When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Hey, you guys get back to your car talk. Your completely silent car talk. We need to head back up to the diner. Because in order to progress, we're going to need a job. And Celso's the only guy who has the job around here. Or has the job that I think we could take. Sweeping's not necessarily hard. So let's see if we can get Celso to give us that mop. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. Okay, it doesn't sound like he wants to... Wait, maybe we can do something with this photograph. It's Celso's wife. Actually, I don't think skin would help. We need to get Celso out of here, and he's looking for his wife. So maybe Velasco has got an idea where she's gone. They're still talking. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. But don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Okay, it doesn't seem like he wants to finish his sentence either. He must be that broken up. I love that he just hands us the captain's log. This is definitely what we need to give Celso. Celso, give me your mop. Your girl doesn't care. You might as well get a move on. What is... Oh, that's a shadow. I was like, what is that thing attached to my, my right arm? Celso? Your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too!
boss. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Rubacaba. I absolutely love this chapter. This is my favorite part of this game. <laughs> I love Rubacaba. Like, it just looks cool and the music's awesome. This part of the game's awesome. Not gonna lie. It's the best chapter in the game. Anyway, before we go downstairs, and I guess you could see him kind of walking off, um, I think I think Meche's here. That's what it sounds like, at least. But let's uh, let's let's see the magics of being ah, a uh, lady luck. Let's let's see some of the magic of running a uh, running a casino. <laughs> Look up below, le numéro gagnant, le neuf, rouge, and Perry Monk. nine, red. This is an outrage. I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up, number two? Ah, oh, monsieur, je suis vraiment désolé. I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. Well, please tell the man upstairs that Police Chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please well, place your bets. Well, it doesn't bets. seem like uh, luck has anything to do with this here. Maybe you've just got to be in Manny's favor downstairs. Looks like God Gladys uh, took up the piano. Gosh, just remastered edition looks so nice. Hello, Manny. Hola. You look nice in that suit. Manny, the police chief walked through and I tried playing a song for him and he yelled at me. Oh, don't sweat it, Mano. He's just mad because he lost at the tables. Isn't he always supposed to win so he keeps liking us and never raids us? He wouldn't raid us. It's a holiday. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the Dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night, remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. Bone wagon. I like it. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No, Meche. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. You know, when we leave, I'm actually going to miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Meche and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. I'm with Gladys. This place is freaking sweet. I mean, he's got a real nice setup here. It's nice in this casino. However, I guess, I guess Manny wants to help out the the person. He wants to make sure Meche makes it to the. Is it ninth underworld? I can't remember. There's something very small and insignificant over here. If I could get behind the bar, you might not notice this, but you're gonna need this for later. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me, for safekeeping. That's like some fancy liquor. It... This thing, it seems like you'll never ever use this, but uh, it'll come in handy later. In like such an obscure way, too. You'll forget about it. It's, it's that small. Trust me. 
I'm going to try to get out of this room as fast as I can because this guy will just keep talking. Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. What? So did he. He will run like a broken record. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? This guy's a little slimy. His name's Charlie. He's not the kind of person you want to associate with, except we're going to be associating with him for a while here. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stuff. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. He, I don't know why, but he reminds me of some character from Courage the Cowardly Dog, like the Cowardly Dog. I, I don't know why, I just feel like his voice, like, reminds me of someone. And he's kind of slimy. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. You can tell that's going to be important because of the drastic change in music. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Uh, just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You, you have to get inside the machine and, and make it want to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. We'll be seeing some of uh, Charlie later. He's not the kind of person you want to associate with, but uh, it might reach a point. I kind of wouldn't want him hanging around my my casino at all. Seems like he'd he'd do me do me some pretty bad business. Let's head up here. We need to talk to uh, Lola. She's the one who works at the desk. Evening, Lupe. Lupe. Whoops. Hi, Manny. Who's Lola? I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night. 
that you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes! I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Thanks for the enthusiasm, Lupe. Bogan looked mad when he left? Yeah, what happened? Hey, we all run out of luck eventually. Careful, Manny, or you're gonna get us shut down. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? As much as I'd like. Why not? Okay, tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it! Don't pretend to care! No, I want to hear. Hup. Oh, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. I love Lupe. <laughs> Please, tell me all about your new Kochek system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Sorry, jeez. We got some sass going on today. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. Okay, back to work. Okay! That'd be a pretty great slogan to go over the door, actually. Sorry, let me check my time. We've, we've got time. That should be everyone in the casino, or the cafe. It's a- it's a casino- there is nothing cafe about that place. That is a casino and a bar. But I guess it could be the Calavera Casino. I mean, it starts with a C also. Whatever. It's not important. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Seems like we found Meche, however, it also looks like she doesn't really want us around. That's a shame. Um, however, we've got our boat here, though I don't think he's going to let us on. But um, next episode, we should work on trying to get on that ship. So thank you all for watching. 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Grim Fandango. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye.